Washington the Navy never had to look too hard to fill its elite SEAL force. For years, eager recruits poured in to try out for naval special warfare teams but they were overwhelmingly white. Now, naval special warfare command leaders are trying to turn that around. Developing programs to seek out recruits from more diverse regions of the country. We have been passive in the way that we recruit, we're SEAL team. Come find us, said Rear ADM. H. Wyman Howard III, top commander for naval special warfare, in an interview with the Associated Press. Now, he said, we have to go where diversity lives. Army leaders have been doing some of the same things. LT. Gen. Fran Baudet, head of Army Special Operations Command, said they have loosened some restrictions on who can try out for special forces units which included requirements on the amount of time in the service or in rank a soldier had done. And the Army has created new, specialized teams to better reach out to more diverse populations. The effort comes as the military and the nation struggles with racism, extremism and hate crimes. Leaders see greater diversity as a way to combat extremism in the ranks, even as they increase other training and education programs. We have been passive in the way that we recruit, we're SEAL team. Come find us, said Rear ADM. H. Wyman Howard III, top commander for naval special warfare, in an interview with the Associated Press. Now, he said, we have to go where diversity lives. Army leaders have been doing some of the same things. LT. Gen. Fran Baudet. Head of Army Special Operations Command said they have loosened some restrictions on who can try out for Special Forces units which included requirements on the amount of time in the service or in rank a soldier had done. And the Army has created new, specialized teams to better reach out to more diverse populations. The effort comes as the military and the nation struggles with racism, extremism and hate crimes. Leaders see greater diversity as a way to combat extremism in the ranks, even as they increase other training and education programs. Exercise that enhances readiness, responsiveness, and combined military-to-military -military relations and capabilities. As part of Commandog, Philippine and U.S. Marines train to fight in urban terrain. We've been going over some non-live fire mount, trying to work on those front And, uh, you know, they're, they're killing it out there. Just working with the guys has been great. Just trying to see how they do things versus how we do things. I think for them, they've been getting a lot out of the training. For us, just being able to interact with that uh, other nation has been a great experience for the junior Marines. This year, forces from the Philippines, Japan, and the United States participated in Commandog. Reporting from the Philippines, I'm Marine Corporal Jaron Burleson. Left side clear!